All right, let's begin. Okay, so everybody, we want to come to sitting up in our seat. Make sure that our feet are placed on the ground in a way that they're hips width apart. So we don't know our hips width. We can take our two fists, press it together, and then hug the inner arches of our knees around the fists. Okay. And then in our seat, get comfortable. So if you want to have your back up against the seat, um, you can, but it's going to be a little bit easier for you if you kind of scooch forward and just support yourself through the strength of your belly, allowing the vertebrae to stack all the way up to the nape of the neck. So think of nice, strong neck body. Start to relax the shoulders, maybe even drop the hands down by the side or place them on the belly. Let the breath start to just come in and out and with no expectation. So when we think about what we expect from our breath, just allow it to be what it is, in and out. It's as simple as an inhale and an exhale. Feel the full length of the body from the feet to the crown of the head. Allow each part of your body to be completely present. And as you close your eyes, relax. And really get a sense of what you want to get out of this practice. You have about an hour to sit here and be a part of chair yoga. So do what you feel is necessary to prepare mentally, physically, emotionally. Allow your thoughts to kind of just go to the side. If a thought keeps coming back, maybe even use your wrist and just flick it away. And take about five breath cycles here. Breathing in and out. And just when you think you've let go, I invite you to let go a little bit more. Taking another breath. Breathing in and out. Let's take a breath together. We're going to collectively exhale all the air out of our bodies. Navel touches the spine. Maybe even make the shh sound as it exits the body. And then on the next inhale, allow the breath to come in from the nose or the mouth. Just for this moment and see how far it goes naturally on its own. And pause for a moment, and then exhale all the air out of the body. On the next inhale, let's do it together. Breathe in, one, two, three, pause. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Pause for a little bit longer. And exhale, four, three, two, one. Let's bring our arms into the practice. And inhale, raise the arms up. 
Allow them to come to shoulders length, rising, just so that the fingertips are touching each side of the wall, your left and your right. Strength is in your biceps and triceps. Then sky flip, take that sky flip palm and press them down towards the ground in the direction we're gonna go. On the exhale, let go. Four, three, two, one. Arms rise to shoulders length, inhale, one, two, three, and pause. On that pause, we can flip the hands over, and then exhale, four, three, two, one. One breath, one movement. Inhale, arms rise to shoulders length. Exhale, hands come back down by the side. Inhale, arms rise to shoulders length. Exhale, arms and hands come back down by the side. Next time we're gonna come up and bring our hands up overhead, arms rise. Breathe in, look up if you can. If you wanna back bend slightly, you can go for it. Otherwise, just lift up out of your pelvic bowl, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Relax and breathe and pause. On the exhale, allow the body to just sink a little bit more into the seat beneath you. Nothing to do and nowhere to go but to just keep the arms overhead. Notice if, you're strenu um, if your shoulders are strenuous in any way and try to relax them, releasing them down the back body. Shoulder blades fall down the back body like angel wings that are in a resting position all the way down to the lowest part of the back where the sacrum is. Still, the vertebrae is stacked, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way up to the nape of the neck body, and this is important. We're keeping our alignment. And then on the exhale, slowly bring the arms down by the sides, staying controlled and steady with the breath. And just keep the hands here, right by your sides, and allow the spine to still be strong, still be aligned vertebrae by vertebrae. Shoulders are relaxed. Weight falls heavy through the elbows down into the fingertips. We're going to take the chin, drop it down to the chest. Still keep the back body aligned. So do your best to not lean forward or lean to the side. You want to stay completely aligned, chin to the chest. You're going to bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Try to keep that back straight so shoulders are square in front of you. Hips are square in front of you. Only thing that's tilted is your neck body. Chin tilts back down to the center chest. And then left ear to the left shoulder. Beautiful. Beautiful. Relax the arms just a little bit more. And then bring the chin back down to the chest. Keep the eyes closed. Do your best to just allow yourself to trust. Trust in your breath. I'm gonna come back to the other side and just start to do this roll where you kind of just roll 180 degrees from right ear to the right shoulder and then chin comes through the center chest line, left ear to the left shoulder. Nothing to do and nowhere to go but to ride the breath, allowing the breath and the movement to match. And breathe in and breathe out. And do about four of these, four on each side just try to relax the shoulders even more. Maybe notice the hands. If the fists are closed for whatever reason, just allow the hands to open up. Palms are loose. And see if that helps you to flow with your neck roll. We're going to meet back in the center chest, chin to the center chest. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. We're going to take our hands, place them on top of our thighs, 
And we're gonna start to press our chest forward, but then we're gonna lift up out of the pelvic bowl and allow the heart to gaze up to the ceiling. Drop the head back. Chin rises as well, matching the heart. Both are in the direction of the ceiling above. And then we're gonna tilt in, bringing our bellies in. Navel touches the spine. The back body now is a dome shape. So I'm gonna move so you can see me in the chair. So now the back body is dome shape. It's almost like it's touching the back of the chair, but now our chin is tucked into our chest. The nape of our neck is stretched out. It's nice and long. And then we come forward chest presses up, belly is forward, lifting up through the rib cage, through the pelvic bowl, arching the back body. Now, mind you, you don't have to arch a lot, okay? So your back bend doesn't have to be big at all. You don't even have to drop your head all the way down your back body. You just want to lift up and allow your throat to get that stretch and allow your chest and your heart to be pushed forward just so you start to get a little flexibility in the lower back going up to the mid back. And then we reverse. We're coming back, inhaling, breathing in, back body domes behind us. Now the chin rests on the chest. And take about four of these. These are seated cat cows. So when we push back with our back body and it's touching the back of the chair, that's our scared cat. And then when we're arched in, belly is protruding forward, heart is up to the ceiling, chin is up to the ceiling. This is our cow. So four of these in all. Okay. Take your time. Breathe in. You know you got this. And be gentle to your body. There's nothing that you have to force. And if anything hurts, don't do it. Adjust accordingly. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna come back to our center. Allow our head to come up now so that we're gaze is fixed in front of us. Arms are gonna rise, we're gonna lift up, reach up overhead, roll the shoulders away from the ears, interlace the fingers, press the palms up towards the ceiling. Again, roll those shoulders away from the ears. They have this tendency to wanna do all the work for us, but right now we're giving the shoulders a break. They're on vacation and they should take it. <laughs> Breathe in and out, and then we're going to lean to our right side, grounding through our left sits bone, and then tilt the body so that you're pivoting the left shoulder back, and you're looking up so you can see the inside of your elbow. You really want to take that gaze as high to the ceiling as you can. Breathe in and out, and come back to center, and then we're going to come over to the other side. Do the same thing. We're going to pivot. Right arm pivots back. We're looking up. And we're just getting a nice little stretch on the rib cage. Come back to center. Arms come down by the sides. All right. Relax the shoulders. Let's bring our shoulders up to our ears and then pull them back down. Inhale, shoulders up to the ears. Roll them back. Breathe in and out and then roll back. One more time. Breathe in and out and then roll back. And then we're going to come forward. We're just allowing our shoulders to roll. We're going with the flow. And be gentle to your shoulders and then shake it out. Yeah, there we go. I love shaking it out, kind of shaking it off. Okay, I love that because then we break up the energy even more. We're going to go through our first flow of the class. Arms rise, reach up, lift up overhead. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise, reach up, lifting up. Hands come down by the sides. All right, let's do two more of them just to wake up and open ourselves up. Breathe in, hands are to the ceiling. Exhale, we're flowing, coming down. Belly touches the top of the legs, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back, get strong in the belly, strong core. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise, reaching up for the stars. We look up, gaze up, we can touch it, it's right there. 
And then exhale, hands come down by your side. This next one, I want you to really reach for that star, but imagine that it's your biggest dream ever and you're reaching for your dream and you're looking up and you grab it. Take it down with you, come forward, forward fold. And then we come back up. Our bodies are strong, our minds are strong. We're still holding on, we got this. Inhale, breathe in, exhale, let go. Ah, completely let go and trusting trusting that the support is there and then arms rise back up and leading us back up towards the sky, towards the scars, right? And then the hands come down by the sides. Look at us, feel it, and take a moment to just honor yourself and maybe bring your hands to heart center. And really just try to focus in this practice on the things that you're doing right. Of course, if there's anything that is painful, you should always acknowledge that. And in a sense, when you are acknowledging something that is not good for you, that is you doing something for yourself that is honorable. So at all times, honor yourself in this practice. Take a few breaths, breathing in and out. Set an intention for the rest of this class. Keeping honor somewhere in there. Beautiful. Arms rise, lift up, reach up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. But I want you to stay down on this forward fold at this time and extend the legs out, opening up the legs so that your elbows are now gonna be placed on the inside of the open legs. Thighs are apart. You have this stretch coming and your hands are wrapped around the ankles. So you're getting the support from the outer leg. And if you need to look at me, look at me. So elbows are on the inside. You're going to really squeeze your right hand around the right ankle. And I want you to let go of the left hand and reach it up towards the ceiling. So I want to see some hands going up towards the ceiling. So your left arm is a straight, long body aligned, like you're taking off and you're flying like a bird, breathing in and breathing out. Now, if your hand can't make it all the way up, that's fine. Just try not to overextend by bringing it behind you where you're squeezing the shoulder blades. You want to kind of keep it over towards the left side, if anything. Bring that left hand back down around the left ankle. Squeeze that left hand. Make sure that the elbow's on the inside, right? And then we can lift up our right hand using the resistance from the left side of the body to help us lift up on that right hand. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the stretch in the rib cage. Try to keep the sits bone grounded into the um, seat beneath you. Then bring that hand, that right hand back down to the right ankle. Lift up. Both of your um, elbows are now on the inside. Your hands are up and I should see your head. That You should be lifting up, squeezing up, half lift. Beautiful. Take your two hands, press them together into a namaste. Um, hair position. Squeeze the elbows into the knees and squeeze the knees into the elbows. Squeeze the core. Keep yourself up and look up. Allow yourself to see into the computer. So you should want to be looking up eyesight gaze. Breathing in and out. Exhale, relax, let it go. Let the hands come before you so that they support you. They can be sitting in between your feet if it's in your practice, if you are uncomfortable with bringing your hands all the way down to the floor, for whatever reason, keep your hands wrapped around your ankles or your shins, okay? But if you're able to let go and your seat is pretty close to the floor and you feel very safe and secure, completely let go, let the neck body relax, let the chin tuck into the chest and shake the head yes and no as you breathe in and out. Beautiful. Take this moment to just relax. Now we're going to come back up. We're going to take our fingertips and we're going to wrap them around our ankles once again. And we don't just come up in a way where we rise up really quickly because we could get dizzy. We walk our fingers up our legs, literally the foreleg all the way to the side of the knee, then to our thighs. Finally, we start to lift up our bellies then our chest, then our neck body, and then our head. And we pause for a second and toe heel the feet back together to hips width apart. Beautiful. Take a few breaths and we're gonna go through a flow. Arms lift, reach up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise, reaching up, 
lifting up. I want you to keep the hands there, but on the exhale, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Take your right hand, reach up like you're going for a mountain, you're mountain climbing. So you're reaching up for something, your left elbow is bent, and then you reverse. Your right hand is now um, squeezed and the elbow is bent, but the left hand is straight. And do this four times on each side, but match the breath with the movement, lifting up out of the pelvic bowl. From the pelvic bowl, you lift up through the chest and from the chest to the shoulders, breathing in and breathing out. You got it. Beautiful. You are the best. I hope you are feeling that because you are. Ah, and then bring our hands back to that position that is where both hands are facing one another. And then gently, four, three, two, one, we start to lower the hands down by the sides. Awesome. And shake it out. And we're going to do some twisting stuff now for our spine. I feel like it's very important to twist this lower back body for so many reasons. <laughs> All right. So if you want, you can take your feet and keep them hips width apart, or you can take your feet and bring them together so you make one long knee, one strong knee or leg, okay? All the way down to the tips of your toes, the soles of your feet, tips of your toes. Um, if your knees kind of press apart, that's normal. You want to press more into the feet and squeeze the belly. Your strength comes from the belly. If you try to... Uh, think about your knees touching. What's going to happen is it's like a magnet on polar opposites and it pulls it apart. So squeeze the belly. Awesome. Bring the hands up overhead and then bring the hands into heart center. Elbow on your left side, or elbow on your right side. Perfect. Breathe in and out. I want you to wiggle your elbow on your left side. Take that elbow and start to bring it down to the center line, midline. It's going to be pressing in front of you while your right elbow comes behind you. And you're just doing a slight little twist. Squeeze the core, sit up a little bit taller in your seat, and then come back to center. And then you're going to take your right elbow, wiggle it. And you're going to bring that right elbow down the center line. Your left elbow is going to come now behind you. Hands continuously are pressed. Breathe in and out. I'm going to come back to center. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our left elbow down the center line, but this time we're going to extend our hands out. The right hand is going to come in front of us. The left hand is going to come behind us. We're going to sit up a little bit taller in our seats, grounding through the sacrum. Breathe in and out. Nice posture. Think about vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up to the spine and take a breath. Come back to center. Hands pressed together. Come back to center, allow your palms pressed together to be a guide, and then we're going to take the right elbow down that center line, and then extend the hands out. Right hand comes in front of you, left hand comes behind you. Squeeze the core, sit up a little bit taller, and breathe. Nice, gentle spine twist, and it's going to open us up for the next pose. Come back to center, palms pressed, beautiful. We're going to take that left elbow, so now, instead of bringing it just to the center line, we're going to dip the left elbow down on our twist and find a home for it. You can place your left elbow on top of your left leg, or you can place it on top of your right leg, or you can hook it over. The goal is to eventually one day hook it over, but do what you can. Okay, breathe in and out. And for right now, we're just going to stay like this with our palms pressed. Breathe and focus on the breath. There are places when you do a twist that the breath can kind of get stuck. I want you to try to adjust the body just enough so that the breath can flow in a way that's a little bit more fluid. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little. Come back up to center. Twist back to center. Take the right elbow and find a home for it. Once you go down the center line, dip it down. And wherever you are in space is fine, okay? So if you have not hooked that um, elbow over the opposite leg, then that's fine. But just find a place that works for your body. Remember to honor your body at all times. This is about you, not about the pose. Breathing in and breathing out. One more breath, come back up. I'm going to come back to center line. 
All right, take that left elbow again. Find a home for it. Bring it to your left or your right leg, but you want to twist over, and this time you want to take your hands and spread them apart like you're um, going in for a fly away. You're flying away. Where are you going? I don't know, but allow yourself to fly. Bring your hands back together. Twist back into center. He's going to take that right elbow back down the center line. Find a home for it and go in for your flyaway. Spread your wings and fly. No forcing, no stress. You're squeezing the core. Most of the um, weight is falling into the belly and into your feet. So think about that. That's what's supporting you is your belly and your feet. Come back to center. Beautiful. Breathe in and breathe out. Arms are going to lift. Rise up. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. You're going to twist your body over towards the right side. Come back to the center and twist your body to the left. And just notice how when you do this, what your spine feels like. Take the temperature of your spine. Do you feel like you're still really stiff? Let's do this two more times. Breath to movement. Do you feel like each time we move that that's helping you? Maybe you don't want to go as far, or maybe you feel like you need to go further to experience what it is you're looking for. We're going to come both collectively, well, all of us are going to come to the right side, hands to the right, and then allow the right hands to come over. Oops, sorry. <laughs> right side. Allow the right hands to come over the left side of the leg. Okay? So what's going to happen is you're going to bring your hands to the outside of the chair, to start. Then you can take your hand behind you, your left hand, and that's going to support you. All right, so right hand to the outside of the left leg. Left hand is behind you, or it's on top of the chair. And then look over that shoulder. Yeah, there you go. So look over the shoulder. Again, if you want to have the legs together, you can, or if you want to have them apart, I'm keeping them together for this part of the practice. I'm squeezing my core and pressing my feet into the ground. And that helps me to get the lift that I need. So I'm getting core strength and muscle strength by doing that. With your legs open and hips width apart, that's more of like relaxation. That's more of letting go, surrendering. So that's the difference. If at any point you feel like you can hold yourself up without your left arm, bring your left arm um, to your left side and just let it be loose. And bring it. Slowly bring the hands up. You're still looking over towards the left side. You're going to pivot those hands back to the center body. Arms up overhead. And then you're going to come over towards your left. Both hands. Let me just make sure. Both hands are now facing to the left. I mean to the right. Bring your hand across the body. Right hand comes across the body. Left hand comes behind you. Whatever side you do, do the other side this time. I'm sorry, I confused myself. Mm -hmm. So do the opposite side. Hands come to the outside. Lift up out of the pelvic bowl. Look behind you. Find a home for your hand. Okay? Breathe in and breathe out. And once you feel like you can let go of the hand that's behind you because you feel completely secure in your belly body and your chest body holding you up. You can do that, but continue to look over and behind you, look over that shoulder. Breathe in and out. Just find a moment of peace. You're looking for peace. Gaze behind you. Loosen the spine.
Arms are going to lift. Rise up. Come back to center. We're going to go in through a flow. So open up the legs. Flow down. So come down. Forward fold. Half lift, flat back. Forward fold. Arms rise. Mountain pose. And just pause for a moment here in mountain pose. And then bring the hands down by the side. Beautiful, beautiful. See how we're doing with time. We're doing great with time. All right, so shake out the back. You should feel like your spine is a little bit looser, which is going to be good because we're going to do some stuff now down on the lower part of the body. I want you to take your hands, scoop them around your um, right knee. So fingertips interlaced, scooped around your right knee. Let the chin tuck into the chest. Let the back body dome and let the weight of the knee fall into the interlaced fingers. Breathe in and out. We're slowly going to lift up, squeeze in the core, squeezing through the thigh and the sits bone, bringing the knee up towards the armpit. Breathe in and breathe out. And then slowly Allow the weight to fall back into the interlaced fingers. Chin tucks into the chest. And lift up one more time. All right. So I know that we're going to try this. I know that this might be difficult, but what I want you to do is to start to rotate the foot. And where you feel your right foot, I really want you to just completely embrace it. See if you can bring that right foot on top of the left thigh anywhere. Wherever you place it is fine. Now, if you're holding on and your knee is up facing the ceiling, that's fine. But if you are kind of used to this pose and you've done it before, you can kind of relax and settle that knee down so that the knee is now facing the wall. Okay? Sit up a little bit taller in your seat. Breathe in and breathe out. All right. So we're going to take our hands, place them behind our head. We're going to do a little bit of core work, okay? So you're going to take that elbow, so wiggle your left elbow. Here's your left hand, wiggle your left elbow. And you're going to just try to bring it towards the right knee and then come back up. Now, even if you just do it in theory and you don't actually touch, that's fine. I'm not even touching myself, okay? So do four of these, squeezing in and out. We're staying to the one side, left elbow to the right knee. There we go. Squeeze the core, pivoting from the side. Strong body. And then we're going to go to the other side. And we're not actually going to be touching the foot, but in theory, take the right elbow. And you just want to bring it over towards that right side. Especially when we go to do some of these standing poses, it's good to have some core strength in our work. And three, and last one, four. But before we go anywhere, we're going to bring our hands by our sides or actually to our leg and just start to move that thigh, pressing a little bit of weight on the foreleg, maybe holding on to the foot. And if you don't have any sneakers on or anything like that, maybe even give yourself a little foot massage. All right, just to try to loosen up that whole leg, okay? And once you feel comfortable... You're going to take your four hands on, you're going to take your four arms, bring your hands to that four leg and just relax there for a second. When you're ready, take the chin to the chest and you can stay just like this. You don't have to do anything else. You can just relax. If it's in your practice and you want to take it a step further, you can drop the hands over the legs. Now, if you're leg is up and you haven't been able to get the, um, the relaxation or the looseness to bring it down so that it's facing the wall, you can still do that, but just kind of hold on and grasp the leg. All right, so modify as you need to so that you can feel um, a sense of relief and letting go as opposed to any kind of stress or tension. Remember, chin kind of down. You don't have to, like, 
be looking at the screen right now or anything. Two more breaths. One more breath. And slowly we're going to start to rise up. But the way we rise up is first our belly. Our hands come back to our foreleg. Then our chest. Then our head. We take it slow. And just sit here for a moment and breathe. Gently interlace your fingers, wrapping them around the leg again. Rotate the left, rotate the um, right ankle. There we go. You just want to try to do that to wake it up since it may have fell asleep when it was on your leg. And now bring it down gently. Beautiful. For a moment, just feel your right to your left. And take a second to breathe. We're going to go through a flow and then we're going to do the other side. So arms rise, breathe in. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Strong core. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise. Reach up, overhead. Exhale, bring the hands around. Interlacing the fingers to the left leg. And when you lift up that left leg, you can kind of do a little bit with the foot just so that you can kind of loosen it up a little bit. Maybe rotating it back and forth or squeezing the toes. All right, we're going to slowly start to allow the weight to fall of the knee into our interlaced fingers, dropping the chin into the chest, dome shaping the back body. Breathe in and breathe out. Then we're going to lift up, allow the chest to pop up, bring the knee towards the armpit. And then slowly let it back down, chin to the chest, dome shaping the back body. It's almost like cat. So we're in that cat pose, just holding up our knee. Next one, we come up, bring the knee back up towards the armpit, sit up a little bit taller, okay? You can kind of rotate the left foot a little bit more and then place it intentionally on the right leg. Again, if the knee, if your left knee is not able to relax and it's not, you're not flexible enough, you can just kind of hold that leg up, but you still want to bring the foot to the top of the thigh. Okay, so I'm going to do it the way that you want to get to eventually, which is to allow that leg to relax. And again, we're going to do the core work. All right, so get a little comfortable. Wherever it is is fine. Remember, we're not looking for perfection here. Bring the hands behind the head. Sit up a little bit taller. Wiggle the right elbow, right hand, right, right elbow. Bring that right elbow over towards the left. Um, knee, squeezing the core four times, breathing. So make sure that your breath work matches your movement. Spend more time focusing on the breath work, squeezing the core, getting the right muscle groups active. And then come back up. Yes. And now we're going to take our left, so left hand, left elbow, and we're going to come towards the foot on the opposite side. Again, four times, squeezing as we're pivoting the upper body. The lower body stays square in front of us. Beautiful. All right. Now you can start to kind of come back to center, grab onto that leg, and kind of just move that leg around. If you want to give yourself a little foot massage on this side as well, you're welcome to do that. Whatever you feel like you gotta do, can do to kind of loosen up that hip body on the left side. Know that your left and your right are completely different. So you may feel like this side isn't as loose or maybe it's looser, um, but it's all part of the practice. And then find a home for your arms on the foreleg. Get comfortable. Adjust the foot on top of that thigh so that it's comfy. 
and then drop the chin to the chest. If it's part of your practice to completely droop your hands over the leg, you're welcome to do that as well. Or if you find that you, you really aren't comfortable with being able to bring that knee down, you can ra just wrap your arms around, kind of hugging that knee just like you did um, on the other side. Okay, so there's always a modification. And find peace in this pose. I call it a seated half pigeon. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful. Slowly you can start to allow your belly, bend your chest and then your head to rise up, lifting up through the pelvic bowl in the body, breathing in and breathing out. Wrap your fingertips around the knee. All right, twist the right foot a few times, get the blood coming back so it can flow. Bring your foot gently down to the ground. And just take a second. No rushing, no forcing. Arms rise, reach up, lift up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise. Reach up, look up, gaze up, hands come down by the side. Beautiful. And shake it out. And then we're going to come to standing. So for all those that are part of the standing, part of the class, come to standing and get behind your chair. Okay? Breathing in and breathing out. All right. Good. Here we go. So both hands on the chair, the back of the chair. Make sure that your feet are parallel. to the chair and they're square. Breathe in and breathe out. You're going to take your right hand and lift your right hand up. Keep your left hand anchored onto the chair. Breathe in and out. I'm going to keep that um, hand up, and I want you to do some balancing stuff. So you're going to ground yourself more into the left foot, bringing the right foot up, soften the knee. And then just gently lift it up and down two times. Breathe in and out. Okay, bring your hand back down to the chair. Then you're going to do the other thing on the other side. So you're going to grip the, um, your right hand around the chair, lift up on the left, allow the left leg to lift up, and you're just going to kick it back and forth two times, just like a clock would kick. And then come back to center, hands onto the chair. Take your right foot, bring it behind you. Keep your knees softened, okay? So both your feet are facing towards the front of the chair. So as of now, we're in a triangle pose. And I gently just want you to keep those knees soft and start to just press your chest towards the top of the chair. Like your head is coming to the chair. You can even rest your, um, your forehead on the chair. Your knees are soft. So I don't know if you can see my knees like that, but my knees are not straight. They're soft. Breathe in and out. Gently, you can start to lift up in the hip body, but if it's not in your practice and you don't feel like your knees can handle it, don't do that. Keep the knees soft. Slowly, we're going to rise back up using the strength of our core, lifting up belly, chest, then head. And we're going to take both feet, bring them back to um, center, right behind the chair. 
Take your left foot and bring it back behind you. Triangle pose. Both hands are on top of the chair. So softening the knees, slowly start to lower down, bringing your forehead to the top of the chair. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, and there we go. We're going to start to lift back up, squeezing through the core, belly, chest, then head, come back to center. We're going to flow this. So now we're going to bring back that right foot. This time we're going to pivot it to a 45 degree angle. Jacob. 45 degree angle. And now we're going to take our foot, allow our foot to be right underneath our ankle, our knee stacked on top of our ankle. So we, have a, we don't have our knee running in front of us. What we have is a nice straight knee. Hands are still on the chair. Right foot behind us, 45 degree angle. And if you like to take both hands and lift it up, you can for warrior one, but you don't have to. You can keep your left hand on the chair. Right arm lifts up, warrior one. You can also spread your legs as far as you like. Breathe in and out. Next breath, I want you to look up, gaze up, and then open up into warrior two. Right hand comes behind you. Okay, you're going to continue to look over your left shoulder. If both hands are up in the air and you don't, or you're not using the chair, you can just look over those fingertips. Otherwise, you're just looking over the chair. Warrior two. You get him. He's loud. Get him. All right. So we're going to lean our shoulder towards the chair. And then we're going to go back, take it into reverse warrior. Fingertips to the thigh. Look up, gaze up. So the right fingertips are on the right thigh. You're squeezing the thigh of the left um, thigh. And you feel the pressure into the soles of the feet. So your feet are not just um, there for no reason. You're actually pressing and grounding through your feet. Nice, peaceful warrior. Extend out that hand, right hand, back into warrior two. We're going to pivot back forward, squaring our body to the chair in front of us. Warrior one, bring your hands back to the chair. Both feet come back up. Okay, breathing in and breathing out. We're going to take both feet and now just time I want you to just walk them back and forth so give yourself a little bit of space this is like our downward dog and then we're gonna do the other side breathe in and breathe out we're gonna take our right foot now and bring it in front of us so that the right foot is closest to the chair the left foot is behind us and then we're gonna curve that foot to a 45 degree angle so now this is the back side of me so you're going to see what it looks like on the opposite side. I'm going to bend my knee on the right side so that the right knee is stacked on top of the right ankle and the heel. The pressure and the weight is from the heel. So the full weight is on this side. And you can just kind of lean forward a little bit to squeeze and wrap that muscle around the right thigh. Fingertips are still on top of the chair. Left foot is behind you, 45 degree angle, press into the outer rim of that left foot, okay? Good, beautiful. You're going to take your left hand this time and lift it up because our left hand is going to lead the way for us to go into our series sequence of warriors. Right hand this time is still on the chair, but if you want to lift them both up, you can. I'm going to do it with it on the chair. Breathe in. Look up, gaze up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, extending out that left leg, that left arm to match the left leg, warrior two. Breathe in and breathe out. So this is what it looks like from behind. Okay, I'm going to look over my right shoulder. If my hands are both out into that warrior pose, I'm looking over my right fingertips. 
Otherwise, I'm holding on to my chair and I'm still looking over my right side. So there's this long extension from the furthest part of my left fingertips and my nose. So I have this long extension on my neck body. Then I'm going to lean forward, kind of tilt my shoulder like I'm coming towards the chair, and then I'm going to come back, dropping that left hand to the left thigh, looking up, gazing up, reverse warrior. Breathing in and breathing out. And here's a nice peaceful warrior. If your hand is up, then you're going to be looking up, but if you're holding on for support from the chair, you're just going to have your gaze up towards the ceiling. Lift back up on your left leg, on your left arm, so you're back into warrior two. Pivot back forward into warrior one. Hand comes to the chair. Both feet come back. Kind of walk out your down dog. Beautiful. Take another breath, and what I want you to do is extend your arms this time, extend your back body, nice straight tabletop back, relax the knees so that they're soft, and just stretch as far as you can. It's like you're stretching your shoulder blades up towards your um, head, but at the same time, you're still relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful. Slowly, we're going to start to come up, walking our feet back up, coming back up to standing. If it's okay with you, and you can, take both hands, lift them up, look up, gaze up, and just allow yourself to feel the full stretch of your body from the fingertips to your toes, and then bring the hands back down by the sides. Beautiful. We're going to come back into our seated position on the chair. Take your time as you come around. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to do one more pose after we're going to flow, then we're going to do a pose, and then we're going to come into our savasana. So once you get in the chair, take your time. Come back into that aligned position, your base. All right, feet, hips width apart. Arms rise, reach up, lift up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise, reach up. Hands come down by the sides, but grip onto the chair. Beautiful. Take your right foot, wiggle the right toes, and then place the heel on the ground. Toes are flexed, facing you. So if your toes wave hello, they're saying hello to you. You can see your toenails and everything. If you're pointing them away, that means they're pointing towards the screen. So flexing means they're coming towards you, okay? Heel is on the ground. Take your left foot, wiggle those toes, lift it up, and then cross it on top. Extended, um, extended seated um, forward fold. So your legs are extended in the seated position, and you're going to start to come forward in this forward fold. And what's going to happen is you're going to really feel this on your hamstrings. So you can loosen up the ankles a little bit, and that will help you to kind of settle into a place of peace. Here, you just want to surrender. It's a surrendering pose. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the neck, relaxing the chin. If you want to let go of the sides of the chair, you can. You don't have to, though. If you feel more comfortable holding on, and just so you know, you might scooch your butt around a little bit on the chair until you get comfortable. It is completely natural to adjust this pose moment by moment. Breathing in and breathing out. Two more breaths. Slowly start to rise up, belly, chest, and then head. That's how we always come up. Belly, chest, and head. 
Roll those shoulders back. Allow the heart to press forward. Bring the feet back to hips width apart. Back to your base position. Lift up on the chin. Arms rise. Reach up overhead and go through a flow. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise, reaching up. Hands come down to the sides of the chair, gripping the chair. Take the left foot, bring it out in front of you, rotate those, fing those toes, and then finally make a home for the heel. Right foot crosses on top of the left. Sit up a little bit taller in that seat. Find that comfort zone for yourself, and then you can relax those ankles. All right, remember, this is a hamstring stretch as much as it is a calf stretch. So adjust your body as you need to, and then start to lean forward, folding forward. Chin to the chest. Breath by breath, moment by moment. If you want to let go, you can, or you can continue to hold on to the chair. Your choice. Two more breaths. And then we're going to slowly start to come back up, belly, chest, neck, head. Roll those shoulders away from the ears and back and bring your feet to hips width apart. We're going to do the last flow of the class. Arms rise, reach up, lift up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, gently allow yourself to rise and give it your full intention and awareness as you lift up, gazing again for those stars. Bring it back down with you as you bring your hands down and place them in a place that works for you in your savasana. So you can leave them just down by your sides. You can place them on your belly. You can have your palms faced up, flip towards the sky. Have a hand on your heart. It's all your choice. Close the eyes and relax. And begin to let go as you breathe. Congratulate yourself on a job well done. You did not have to come to yoga today, but you did. And you did something for yourself, and you honored your body in many ways. And you honored yourself in as much of the practice that you physically put in, as much of the practice as you chose to not physically do at certain times. Both of them are honoring the body. Breathe in and breathe out. I'm going to ring the singing bowl. Just allow it to be part of your experience. Keep breathing.
continue to relax. If you like to continue meditating, you may do so as long as you like by leaving the session. Otherwise, we will prepare to close together. Take a few more intentional breaths. And gently start to wiggle the toes. And wiggle the hands. Allow some light to gently come into the eyes. Maybe smile and breathe. Arms rise, lift up, and press your hands together to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure and a blessing having you here. I appreciate you. Namaste and have a beautiful day. Thank you.